Hello, friends. My name is JJ. Mikey and I are watching a cartoon about sleeping kittens. Mikey, do you like the cartoon? Oh, yeah. Kitties are so cute and cool. I would love to have a cat of my own in our house. Yeah, but they stink. They also leave a lot of fur on you. You're the one who stinks, JJ. Besides, there are bald cats with no fur. And this kitty is really cute. All people love cats, including me. Ha <laughs> ha. Apparently, you fell in love with that fat ginger cat. I'm starting to really consider getting a cat at home. Kids, hi, are you awake yet? Good morning, Mom and Dad. Are you getting ready for school yet? But we don't want to go to school. I don't care. You have an important school test today. You should write it perfectly. No one cares about the test. We want to have a kitty in our house. Ha <laughs> ha, a kitty. Wait, what? A cat? Yes, a small and cute kitten. We will care for it and we will feed it. Now that's obviously a bad idea. Also, all cats stink and poop horribly. But cats don't poop in cartoons. I forbid you to have any cats in our house. All our clothes will be in wool. It seems that not everyone in this world is a cat lover. But mom, you'll definitely love the cat. I'm tired of already discussing it. In general, you both need to go to school. What? It's seven in the morning? Oh my god, we need a cat more than we need school. We don't care. No cats in the house. And we're off to work. But we can't live without a kitty at home. If I see a cat at home, I'll throw it in the trash right away. Oh my god, our parents are so cruel. Apparently, they've had enough of two kids and don't want another one. I have no idea how we're supposed to write this stupid school test with such a bad mood. We're gonna have to do something. Let's hurry up, otherwise we'll be late for school. Here's your stupid backpack. Hey, Mikey, calm down. It's not my fault my parents told us we couldn't have a cat. Oh, it's your fault. You should have talked them into it. Oh, really? Then why couldn't you do it? Don't take it out on me. Because they listen to you better. That's a lie. Mommy and Daddy love you more than me. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore, JJ. Here we are at school, and we didn't meet a single cat along the way. I have zero interest in writing these stupid tests. If I were to pet a cat right now, I'd be satisfied. I want a cat too, but we're not allowed to have one. Let's go to class, Mikey. I think if our parents watched cat cartoons with us, they would agree to get a cat. Oh, JJ, look over there. I see our favorite sign. Oh, like and subscribe? Guys, please subscribe to our channel. Oh, yeah. And like this video. This will all help us pass today's school test. Of course, after after all, your likes make us feel better. And my mood, too. Three hours later. Whew, I thought this test was going to be a lot harder. I wrote it perfectly. Friends, it's all about your likes. Thank you so much. I wonder what Mikey's test grade is. JJ, I have some very good news. And what's the news? I wrote a better test than you because I got the best grade in the class. Mikey, we got the same grade. That means we're the two smartest students in school. It's all because our viewers didn't get lazy and liked our video. Let's go home. We have to show off our grades to our parents. I think they'll let us have a cat after this. Oh yeah, that's a great plan. Then run faster to them. And we'll also say that this test was very difficult so that they praise us more. Then a sweet kitty will be in our home today. Oh yeah, here we go. When you stroke a kitty on her back, you immediately calm down and relax. Ha ha, like you're such a nervous boy. We just both want a cute kitty, that's all. We discuss cats so often that I feel like they're right there with us. Uh, Mikey, you're right. There is one cat sitting right behind you. Uh, I thought you were the one meowing and mocking me. I'm actually an adult and I won't do that. Whoa, that's a real cat. The same cat right out of the cartoons. It's so cute. We should give this cat a name. I'd call it Kex. Kex, uh, that's a weird name. I think he's actually enjoying it. Come on, Kex. Get down. Wow, it's obeying me. JJ, it's not a dog. You don't have to train cats. Oh, come on. I found a kitty for the first time in my life. Let me play with her. Let's get to the bus stop. Otherwise, we might miss our bus. So you're just suggesting we keep Kex here? We're already friends with him. You want to take him home? Oh, yeah. We named him. It's our cat now. Kex, come with us. You'll love our house. But my parents told us not to have cats. Come with us, Kex. And we won't tell our parents we got a cat. They won't know about it. Besides, look how fast he's chasing us. It's so much fun. Kex is cool. Look at him. He follows us as if we were his owners. He meows all the time. I guess he's glad we've become his friends. He's also happy to have a home of his own. Come with us, Kex. 
compared to the street, our house will be a very warm and comfortable place for you. Mikey, we forgot one very important thing. Parents can see him at our house. Uh, oops. I completely forgot about that. What are we supposed to do now? Take him in your arms. We'll sneak the cat into our room unnoticed. Come here, Kex. There's no other way to get you home to us. Wow, it's like he actually understands our speech. That's a very smart cat. He's so soft and fluffy. It's just how I imagined kitties to be. Okay, let's just go home. Mom, Dad, we're home now. Anybody here? Mikey, nobody home. Parents are still home. No one will notice our new guest. Then let's go to our room. I've just recognized the perfect spot for our Kex. I hope this place of yours doesn't get a lot of parental visits. You were talking about the pantry, weren't you? Oh yeah, that's where our Kex is gonna live. He'll be warm and cozy. It's a cat's dream come true, JJ. If I were a kitty, I'd demand better living conditions for myself. Put it here. It's probably not very pleasant to be in your stinking hands. My hands smell like chamomile and sea freshness. What a lovely Kex we have here. You know, Mikey, he can climb all the clothes closets in here and hide from our parents if they happen to come in here. You punched our kitten by accident. Uh, I was just petting him, Mikey. He seems to really like his new home. Look at him jumping all over those shelves. He looks so happy. JJ, that looks so sweet. I'm so glad we brought this handsome guy into our home. Uh, he wants something from us, Mikey. He stopped jumping around. Maybe he wants to be petted again? No, we already petted him, Mikey. I think he's hungry. He's been living on the street and there's not much food out there. Then we need to give him some cat food. We have lots of all sorts of food in our fridge that no one eats. If we give some to our Kex, no one will notice a couple pieces missing. Wait for us here, Kex. We'll be back to you soon with lots of food. Once a long time ago, I lived in a dumpster. It's very hard to find food there. It's not cool to live in a dumpster. I'd take in every stray animal in the world. So what do we have here for the kitties? Oh, a piece of fish. No one in the family eats that fish. Ew, I think Kex will be happy with this one. After all, in cartoons, all cats love to eat fish. It's a good thing I'm not a cat because I hate the taste and smell of fish. Me too, Mikey. I hope that fish isn't expired. We don't want to poison our new friend. Hey, Kex, we brought you some food. Oh, yeah, he's so happy to see us. He must have smelled the fish by now. And this fish smells really bad. Wow, he's so happy to see that fish. Ha ha, he probably hasn't eaten anything in a long time. Eat up, Kex, grow big and strong. You look like someone's mommy feeding her son. I don't like kids, but I do like cats like Kex. Oh, yeah, cats are cooler than kids. How quickly he eats eats a big fish. We should have fed him sooner. He also licks himself so cute after he's done with the fish. That's how cats wash their faces. Here we go. He's full and sleeping. Ha ha ha. Just like Mikey after eating a bunch of burgers. Oh yeah, he looks a lot like me. Let's just let him sleep and get out of here. After all, this is his private room now. I agree. Cat needs a rest. He's so good. I am so humbled when I look at this little miracle. How could my parents be against having a cat? They must be too stupid. Who's being stupid? Ha <laughs> Oh, you're back from work already? Yeah. What are you kids doing here, both of you? We're just standing here waiting for you. Yeah, we love just standing here. And there's nothing interesting in that closet. Uh, okay. What weird and funny kids we have after all. Yeah, we're just playing our game. I wonder what kind of game you're playing? Something very stupid and childish. Uh, the game is called Don't Go in the Pantry because there's a scary monster hiding in there. Okay. Stop playing. You both need to go to bed. You've got a long day ahead of you tomorrow. Why? Is it evening already? I thought I'd watch more cartoons. You'll watch cartoons tomorrow. And now kids' time is over. Okay, we'll get some sleep because we always listen to you. Good night, JJ. Have a good night's sleep. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Good night to you, too. Aw, you two are so cute. It's so nice to take care of someone. All right, we're going to bed, too. Don't mess around at night. Okay, we said we always listen to you. Don't worry. If you don't obey us, we'll punish you. <laughs> a what? That's not funny. You your dad is messing with you. <laughs> it seems to have been successful and they didn't notice the Kex. Hopefully he won't make any noise in the pantry at night. It's gonna be okay. Good night, JJ. Good night to you too, Mikey. I wish I had said good night to Kex. Friends, what are the names of your pets? Write about it in the comments. See you tomorrow. The next day. Oh, how quickly the next day came. Hey, everybody, Mikey's still asleep. He never changes, huh? Friends, what's your morning like? Write about it in the comments. Now, I should go check on our cat, Kex. I hope he's doing well, but I don't know how long cats sleep. Hey, Kex, where are you hiding? Maybe he wanted to hide from me? There's a little pantry in here, though. There's nowhere for him to hide in here. Oh, my God. We have a huge problem. Mikey, wake up now. We're having a catastrophe. Kex has escaped. He's gone. Oh my god, what's happening?
happening? There's no Kex in the pantry. He might get caught by his parents. Then we'll be screwed. Oh my god, this is getting serious. Are you sure you did a good search of the pantry? Yes, I've searched the place. There's definitely no Kex. You did a very poor job of looking. Maybe he's hiding around the corner. He's nowhere to be found, Mikey. I looked real hard. Maybe it's on the shelf. He's not here either. It's like he's invisible. There's no such thing as invisible cats. Then he's definitely escaped. We'll have to look all over the house for him. Parents may find it sooner. That's what we're so afraid of. And if they find it, they'll throw it back in the dumpster. Ha ha ha. Eat up, kitty. And uh, now that was weird. Looks like the parents found Kex after all. Oh no. Then he's in great danger. We must save him. What a cute kitty it is. I wonder how he got here. Uh, what? The parents are feeding our cat themselves? They're not mean? I'd keep that cat with us. The kids wouldn't mind. Of course we won't mind. Let's go over there. We're going to have to name this kitty. I'd name him Chushpan. A very honorable name. Chushpan? That sounds really dumb. We should think of another name. His name is actually Kex. Oh, kids? Are you awake yet? Yes, we're awake, and it's our cat. Oh, and we found it faster than you. You're late. Ha ha. We brought it here yesterday after school, and we named him Kex. Why aren't you mad at us? Because we like him. Oh, yeah. Now we'll have that cat in our house forever. That Kex is so cute. Ha ha. And he's also very affectionate. In fact, you should have asked our permission before you let him in the house. You told us we couldn't have a cat. So we let him in the pantry. All right, let him live with us. Yay, our dream with Mikey came true, and we were afraid you were gonna throw him in the trash. Okay, and we're going to bed with your mom? Just look at all this. Parents found a cat lock somewhere. It's all so cute. I love it. This cat will do very well living in our cozy and large home. Oh, yeah. We're gonna love Kex with our whole family because he gives that love and care to us, too. That's why all people love pets so much. I want every viewer to have their own pet. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Today, I'm watching my favorite cartoons on TV. Write in the comments, do you have a favorite cartoons? And if so, what are they? Haha, <laughs> what fun. I love watching watching cartoons so much, I would watch them all my life. Too bad my parents don't let me watch a lot of cartoons. We're home. We had a great time at the zoo. It was really cool. Too bad Mikey's allergic to the lion. By the way, Mikey, go to the bathroom and wash your hands. I really enjoyed the zoo, too. Looking at the animals, they are so cute and fluffy. Yeah, too bad I'm allergic to the lion. He's so fluffy and huge, too. Awesome. Yeah, Mikey, you're right. We'll definitely go to the zoo again. In the meantime, go wash your hands before it gets worse. Okay. I'll be right back. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, JJ, come here quick. Hey, what happened? Are you deaf? I told you to come over here. Why don't you do anything all day? What do you do? At least do something useful, or at least interesting. All you do is watch your stupid cartoons all day. These cartoons aren't dumb. They're fun, especially since you didn't invite me to go to the zoo. You only took Mikey and I didn't. Maybe I wanted to go to the zoo too. Stop arguing with your parents. Are you out of your mind? Go to the store and buy groceries. You'll get some fresh air. You can't stay home and watch cartoons all day. Come on. Okay, that's it. I'm leaving. Stop yelling at me. I'm so sick of them. My parents don't like me at all. They only like Mikey. Instead of the zoo, they send me to the store. It's totally unfair. Oh, well, I'm gonna go to the store. Maybe I'll get something good. But I'd rather watch cartoons all day. Three hours later. That's it. I went to the store. Unfortunately, I didn't buy any goodies because I didn't have enough money. But okay, it's getting dark. I have to get home soon. My parents must have lost me by now. Wait, what? Did you hear that? I think someone was meowing. Oh, look, it's a cat. Wow, I'm so small and handsome, cute. I wonder what he's doing out here all alone. He's probably a stray. Too bad about such a beautiful cat. Hmm, maybe I should take him in. But my parents would probably object. Then I'll hide him and no one will know. That's a great idea. That way I can help this little cat survive. He could die all alone, small and without food. He can't even hunt yet. Come on, kitty. Come here. We'll take you to your new home. I think you'll like it. I'll feed you and take care of you. You'll grow up big and strong. Now we have to take you home and hope your parents don't see you. Otherwise, not only will you be homeless, but I'll be homeless too, haha. -ha. Okay, I'm kidding. You you and me are gonna be friends now, kitty. All we gotta do is get you a new name. Okay, we're almost to my house. Now, kitty, listen carefully. Be as quiet as possible. Don't say anything and don't move. 
We need to be as careful as possible so my parents don't see you, or this could end badly. Who's that? Oh, JJ, you're back. What took you so long to go to the store? You've been gone almost three hours. Hurry up and give us the groceries and go to your bedroom. Don't bother me and Dad. All right, all right, here's your groceries. Take them, but don't yell at me. What did I do to you? Oh, that's a lot of groceries. Great, let's make a nice dinner. Yes, JJ, thanks for going to the store. Now go to your room. Your mom and I have things to do. You're bothering us, so hurry up and leave. Okay, I leave. Goodbye, parents. True, lucky. Oh, Mikey. Hey, how are you feeling? How are your allergies? You're pissing me off. Go to your bedroom. I need to talk to my parents. I'm not talking to you. Okay, whatever you say, Mikey. Bye. Oh, Mikey, hi. How are you feeling, baby? Dinner's ready. Sit down to eat. You must be hungry. Mommy's gonna make you a nice meal. This is unbelievably delicious. Thank you so much. I'm really hungry. Uh, I'm really hungry, too. Well, I've got better things to do. I've got to hide my new cat friend somewhere. Okay, I think I'll temporarily hide you in the closet. I don't get a lot of people in here, so it's a good place to start. Settle in. It's quite cozy here. I think you'll like it. And anyway, it's just for a couple of days. Now I'll need to bring you something to eat. And it wouldn't hurt to eat myself. I haven't eaten anything since the morning. You and I are similar. Our parents don't like us both and we are abandoned. Oh, I see you like this place. Oh, it's a pity that I can't leave you at our house. If this were your home forever, I think you would like it. But it's okay. Tomorrow, I'll buy you a nice new house, and I'll probably also buy a cat litter box for you. For now, sit here. And yes, I forgot to say, please be quiet. Oh, Mikey, hello. Are you still awake? No, I'm not sleeping yet. I had very important things to do here. What were you doing here? Nothing special. Special. I was resting. Today, I went to the store and brought home a large bag of groceries. I was tired of dragging it home. Mikey, don't you think it's time for us to go to bed? It's already night. Time to go to sleep. Hmm, I think that's a good idea. I was also very tired this day. Why are you tired? What happened to you today? I'm sick of my allergies. Today at the zoo, I met a lion and started sneezing very hard. Oh, how terrible. Apparently, you haven't left the zoo yet. I think you need to sleep and have a good rest. And tomorrow, you will feel better. Let's go sleep. Yes, you're right, JJ. I hope tomorrow I will feel much better. Good night, JJ. Good night, Mikey. Till tomorrow. The next day. Good morning, friends. Today I went to the pet store and bought a new cat litter box and a new cat house. Now I'll go home and give him all this. I hope he likes it. I hope my parents haven't figured out yet that we have a kitten at home. I think everything is fine. After all, the cat is hidden in my closet on the second floor. Parents hardly went there. Okay, let's quickly go to the cat. He waiting me. Wait, what's going on here? Oh no, it seems Mikey didn't feel better at all. On the contrary, he got even worse. Mom, Dad, look, JJ has come. What? Where is he? Oh, JJ, you're already back. By the way, where have you been? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Look at Mikey. He's gotten worse. You didn't bring anyone to our house? Perhaps some kind of animal? Um, no. Are you crazy? I didn't bring anyone to our home. I sit at home all day and watch cartoons, right? Apparently, you shouldn't have gone to the zoo with him. It's your fault. Okay, JJ, you're no use. Better go to your room. Okay, that's it. I'm leaving. Phew. I was lucky that they didn't find out that I brought home a cat. I was very lucky. I don't even know what they would do to me if they found out about it. Okay, we need to go and show the cat his new things. So, I hope no one is following me. Need to be more careful. Hey, cat. Hi. How are you doing here? Good for you? You and I were just almost exposed by my parents. You and I were very lucky. Look, I brought you little gifts. This is your new cat house and litter box. Now you can live in this closet with great pleasure and with all the amenities. Well, how do you like it? I think you will really like all of this. Now this is your new home. You and I will always be together. Cool, right? Now you can always live here and we will play with you. What? What's happened? What do you want to tell me? Oh no, it seems that you and I have been exposed. JJ, you lied to us. Why did you bring this cat home? Mikey is allergic to cats. Get out of here quickly. JJ, take your stupid cat and get out of our house now you don't live here anymore. How could you do this knowing that your brother is allergic to cats? I didn't expect this from JJ, but now Mikey will stop sneezing and suffering from allergies. How wonderful. Did you hear JJ? Don't come back here anymore. You don't have a home now and we're not your parents anymore. Yes, JJ, don't come 
come back here again. You're not welcome here. Yes, now the whole room will be mine alone. Two hours later. Hey, you and I are out of luck, Kitty. Now you and I are both homeless. My parents are very angry and they don't like me. So as soon as they saw you, they kicked us out. I'm sorry that this happened. I don't know what to do with you now. But okay, we'll definitely come up with something. Don't be too sad. How are you feeling, kitten? By the way, look, I see some kind of brothel. Apparently homeless people live there. Well, we have no choice but to go there. After all, now we are also homeless. We have nowhere to live. It's already night and we need somewhere to spend the night. I hope tomorrow we can find somewhere to live. Look, there's a fire burning here, which means we won't freeze at night. At least we're a little lucky here. I need to try to sleep. Look how beautiful the moon is today. Eh? Okay. Try to sleep, kitten. I can't sleep. I'll protect us. You never know who will pass here at night. Suddenly, some bandit wants to steal you or me. Someone has to protect us. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, hi. Who are you? It doesn't matter yet. Better tell us what happened to you. Why do you spend the night on the street and not at home? This is a very sad story. My parents don't really love me anyway. They love my brother Mikey more, but he is allergic to cats. And recently, I brought this cat home and hid it in my closet. I felt very sorry for him because he was so small and cute and he was lying all alone at the bus stop. I wanted to help him. But a couple of hours ago, my parents exposed me and kicked me and this cat out onto the street. Now we don't have a home. We're both homeless. We have nowhere to live and nowhere to go. What a nightmare. I'm so sorry for you. Your parents did something very bad. Okay, I can help you. You can live in my house until you find another place to live. I'm not allergic to cats. You're lucky there. Ha, ha, ha. Wow, really? This is incredible, cat. Did you hear? We now have a new house, and you won't have to live in a closet and hide from someone. Thanks a lot. Everything is fine. There is nothing strange about it. I try to help everyone who is in a bad situation. Look, now this is your new home. Settle down. Did you hear, cat? Now you and I will have a new home. Are you happy? I am very happy. Thank you very much again. What did we do without you? Nah, thanks. Settle down. Feel at home. You can use anything. My house is big enough. There is enough space for everyone. Ha ha. I think your cat is very happy. Now you won't have to sleep on the street. So, let's go. I'll show you the second floor. It's completely free, so you can settle down there. There are a lot of cool things here. For example, a new TV, a bed, and a lot of different toys. There is a lot of space. So I think the two of you can get along here. Now this room is completely at your disposal. Wow, thank you very much. This room is definitely enough for us for two. I used to share a room like this with my brother, Mikey. This is wonderful. Okay, I won't bother you. You probably had a very long and hard day. You can stay in your new room if you need anything. I'll be resting on the first floor. Call me if you need help. Okay, thank you. Well, Kitty, how do you like it? Do you like it? Are you happy? Now no one will kick us out onto the street. So let me get you a new house and a cat litter box. Oh, how lucky you and I are that we met this beautiful girl. I'll have to give her some kind of gift. If it weren't for her, we would now be spending the night in that den for the homeless in the open air. Try running around this house. You should like it. I bought it for you this morning. Listen, I think it's very good. Just behave well now because you and I are now living as guests. We need to show good behavior. Oh, it's a pity, of course, that my parents kicked us out. Now the three of them live together without me and without you. Very sad, but okay, nothing can be done about it. But I'm not sad about it at all. Now it's even better. We have our own room and you don't have to live in a closet. It's all good. The next day. Mikey and I had a short day of school today, so we'll be heading home now. Oh, how I love days like this when I don't have to sit studying until the evening. Yeah! Let's get out of here soon, JJ. That's right, because now they'll keep us at school for a long time and we'll leave late as usual. Yeah, it's happened more than once. That's why we gotta get out of here. Let's go! Wait, this is important information for everyone. Yes, indeed, you can't miss it. That's homework for all of us watching this. You might want to hold off for that. It's true. Thanks for showing me. But 
now it's time to go. Everyone's already memorized it. That's right. All the more reason I'm excited to drive my fancy sports car. You're great, but I can only ride my bike so far. You're sure to earn yourself one of these. I don't doubt you. Just as beautiful and powerful. My bike is worse, but it's good exercise. It's true, but a car is better. I think so, too. I think soon we'll be able to drive cars together. It's true. The two of us can still conquer the world. Even though it's more comfortable to ride in a car. But look how I look from the outside on this beautiful transportation. Yeah, Mikey. It doesn't look as cool as you think. Let's go home already. I'm looking forward to a longer vacation. Go ahead, JJ. Put it in first gear and race home. I love this car so much. She's super fast. Yeah, I won't be able to get away that fast. But I have great motivation to become successful. We'll get home slowly. So here I am. It didn't take long. My legs are well pumped from cycling. It's probably much nicer and faster to drive a car. But a bike has a lot of perks, too. Not everyone has the opportunity to drive a car. Well, it's time to go home. Home sweet home. How glad I am to be here. Especially after school. It's a pleasure to come here. Now the only thing left to do is to reach my room and lie down. Happiness is enormous. Let's hurry up. Where do you think you're going? In a hurry to get to your room? Yeah. Well, I thought I'd go and lie in my room for a while. Are you that tired? Why is the house so messy? Aren't you ashamed of yourself for not cleaning up? You don't want to help out around the house at all, lazy bones. Well, I just got home from school. When would I have time to clean up? I'll get some rest, and then I'll do it. It's not a problem. I don't care where you've been. Grab a mop and go clean the apartment. And don't you dare argue with your mother. Look how dirty it is here, don't you think? You'll rest when you're done. Well, Mom, that's not fair. Okay, I'm gonna clean up now. You're very mean to me. You might as well give me some time. I don't see any problem with that. And all you do is yell and curse at me, not even listening at all. Stop talking and make a cheer face. You're living too well. Yeah, it's too good. One pleasure to drive and not think about anything but the road. I love such moments. Thank you so much to the parents for this opportunity. In the future, I will definitely earn a lot of money and help my mom. But for now, I'm just excited. Here I am outside my house. What do you guys think? Would you like to live like this? Give me a like if you buy a house like this in the future. And be sure to post in the comments what you think of my car. Okay, that's it. We can go home now. I'm a little tired from the road. At least just lie on the bed for a while and then we'll think about it from there. There's my mom. She's doing something. Oh, JJ, you're back from school. Yeah, I'm already done. Is everything all right? How do you like the car? Did you have a good trip? Of course, mom. It's a dream car. No other way. I'm so glad. But I have one more surprise for you. Are you ready to find out? Always ready. What kind of surprise did you have in store? Come on, I'll show you. You've been asking me for it for a long time, so I got you one. Is that the new console? I can't hide anything from you. You're right. Now you have a new game console. You can use it all you want. Wow, but it's so expensive and there are so few of it around the world. Thank you so much, Mom. I'm so glad. That's great, but that's not all. Keep some more pocket money. Spend it however you want. It's like a fairy tale, isn't it? You're the best mom ever. Thank you so much. I never have any pity for my son. Take advantage of everything. If you run out of money, you can come up and ask for more at any time. Thank you so much. I love you so incredibly hard. I'm going to go to my room to rest. And you do whatever you want. Okay, then I'll call Mikey and ask him to come over and play consoles with me. Mikey will be happy to always play the console. It's more fun with two, especially since he had never seen one before. How lucky I am to have a mom like that. I'm the luckiest kid in the world. I am very happy with everything my mom does for me. Now we need to call him and invite him over. He won't say no when he finds out what I've got. The main thing is to keep him awake because you can't wake up to things like this. All I have to do is remember his phone number. That seems about right. Now let's make the call. The number you have reached is not in service. Looks like the little one's sleeping after all. What a bad time. Then we'll have to go to his house and pick him up. He won't mind taking a ride in my supercar. Then let's not waste any time. To play more, we need to get him out of the house faster. Good thing my car will allow me to do that. Let's go get Mikey. It's so good to be a rich guy, but beggar Mikey has no money at all. I gotta help him. Mikey told me that he lives in a very poor house made of straw and clay. How awful. I would never live in a stinking hole like that. But it's not Mikey's fault he's so poor. It's his mom's fault. She works too little and earns too low a wage. And there's Mikey's house. I'd say it's made of poop. No, it's earth. Yeah, not cool. Hey, Mikey, come out for a walk. Mikey, stop sitting 
sleeping at home. Let's go to my house and play Xbox. Stop sleeping, Mikey. Hey, why are you yelling? What do you want? Hello, is Mikey home? I'm JJ. He's home, but he's grounded. He's cleaning up. You came at the wrong time. Get out of here, you stupid rich boy. Huh, yeah, I'm rich and you're not. What's the rudeness? Get out or I'll call the police. The police? Why? Because you're a stupid boy who's interfering with our life. Oh my God, Mikey's mom is so strict. Friends, do you have strict parents? Write about it in the comments. But my parents are the best, kindest, and richest parents ever. I love them very much. I don't envy Mikey, of course. I wonder what Mikey's doing right now. I can't wait to see him again. Oh God, I'm so sick of cleaning. Is that Mikey? I found him. He's really cleaning up. Hey, Mikey. Hey, it's me, JJ. Can he even hear me? Mikey, look at me. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, JJ. Hey, Mikey, stop cleaning up. Let's go to my house and play video games. Mm. Sounds like fun, but I heard your mom kicked you out of here. I don't care about her at all. I got a new console. This is the new Xbox. Oh, that's cool. I'd love to play with you. I just need to get out of here. Come on out already. Stop doing this stupid cleaning. But then what do I tell my mom? I'm grounded. I can't just leave the house. What is this? JJ, I told you to get out of here. She's a meanie. Spit in her face and get out of here. What is he even saying? I forbid you to be friends with him. Okay, mommy. And you, arrogant and stupid JJ. AJ. Hey, you're the stupid one. Get out of here. I've already called the police. But why? He didn't do anything. Shut up. Here's your broom. Sweep the whole house. Uh, okay, Mom, whatever you say. Why are you agreeing with her? Hit her over the head with that broom. You shut up. You're not in your own house to boss me around. I repeat, you are not welcome here. God, what a mean mom. I'd probably run away from home if I had a mom like that. But that's okay. I have a plan. I'm gonna sneak into this house at night and take Mikey to my place. It's not Cool to live here. Good evening, I waited until it was dark outside and Mikey's mom was asleep. I'll just walk into their house, steal Mikey, and run away from here. Their family is so poor they can't afford to buy locks on their door. Anyone from the street could walk into their house at night. Okay, Operation Mikey Stealing is on. The most important thing is not to scream in here lest you wake up his screaming mom. Yeah, they're so poor here. Here comes this snake resting after yelling at Mikey all day. By the way, why is Mikey sleeping on the floor? Is it a family thing? They probably just don't have the money for a second bed. Poor Mikey. I feel so sorry for him. Time to wake him up. Mikey, get up! Oh, what's going on? JJ, what are you doing here? I came to save you. Let's go to my house. You're suggesting I run away from home. It'll all work out. Don't be afraid. Your mom's still asleep. Uh, I'll have to make sure of that. Oh, yeah, she's asleep. That's good. I hate her so much. She's taking full advantage of you. Yeah, I agree with you. I hate my mom. Let's go to your house and play the cool Xbox. Let's go, Mikey. Just don't make too much noise. In general, I think it's right to run away from home if your mom makes you clean the house. In fact, I agree with you. The child is the most important person in the family. Yeah, no one's gonna boss us around now. Let's go to my house in my Ferrari. A uh, Ferrari's not cool. Lamborghini's a good looking car. Ha 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 ha, Mikey. And you try to buy at least one of these cars. Mikey! Oh my God, your mom's awake. Where do you think you're going? You two stupid little kids. JJ, we gotta run to your car. Hurry up, otherwise she'll beat us both. I'm gonna kick your butts. Oh my God, not that way. That that's too tender a place for me. Where are you going? Give me my son back. I'll punish you all. JJ, gas on the floor. Drive as fast as you can. I memorized your numbers. I'll find you, JJ. You'll never get away from me. Ah, we got away from her. That mom's not as fast as my cool Ferrari. You're gonna live here now, Mikey. All thanks to this wonderful car. I'm so glad I won't be living with that stupid mom anymore. Now you're going to live with my good mom. I hope we can be friends with her. Of course you will. She's very friendly. I never have to clean house again, I hope. Now, Mikey. Mommy cleans the house and mops the floors herself. Wow, your house is so big and rich. Yeah, I got enough money for a lot of cool stuff. You should meet my favorite mommy. Oh, okay. I hope I can stay with you guys forever. Of course you can. Now you'll be my little brother. Oh, hey, JJ. Oh, who's that with you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. My name is Mikey. I'm a friend of your son's. Oh, he's so cute. That's a pretty sweet boy. I want to keep him with us. Ah, all right. We have plenty of room in the house. Let him live with us. That's it, Mikey. You're 
living with us now. It's cool that I have a new home. I wonder what happened to his old house. His mom kicked him out. Now he has no place to live. Apparently, your mom doesn't care about that at all. Good thing she doesn't ask a lot of questions. Mikey, stop talking. Let's go play my new game console. Sit back and have fun. Wow, that is such a soft couch. Better than your newspapers on the floor, huh? Much better. My back hurts from the cold floors in my old house. Oh, where do you have that Xbox? There he is standing right there. Wow, it's beautiful. Now we can play all the coolest games. I wonder if we can play Minecraft on it. Of course we can. I said we can play all the games. It's nice to be rich. It's not cool to be poor anymore. A few moments later. We're all watching SpongeBob together. Our dad still loves cartoons. It's so cool. I didn't have cartoons when I was a kid, and SpongeBob is an interesting little guy. I agree with dad. Look at that a whole man. Indeed, SpongeBob is holy. <laughs> That's funny. I wouldn't want to be and holy. Well, well, well. Are you sitting around doing nothing again? Are you okay? Yeah, we like it. I think it's all unhealthy. We all need to take care of our health. But we're already healthy. I don't think so. What do you suggest we do? I suggest we all get a medical checkup at the hospital. I don't like hospitals. They give you shots. Oh my god, you're an adult and you're still afraid of shots? I'm afraid of those too. Oh my god, you guys are so difficult. We're healthy and simple guys. Hurry up and get ready. We're going to the hospital right now. Oh my gosh, my mom found a little sore spot and is dragging all of us to get treated. That's not true. Your mom just got a zit on her butt. Hey, don't tell the kids about this. Let's go already. Let's go, JJ. We're all sick. We need a miracle cure. I still think we don't need to do that. Try to tell that to our mom. That's it. Stop whining. You need to check your health at least once a year. Get in the car already. Why do we need to check on him so often? Something could happen and you don't know. I've lived my whole life without checks and I still feel fine. Because we're still young and my parents are old. They need to get checked more often. Oh, that's right. Right. Old people worry about their ailments all the time. Friends, are your parents making you go to hospitals? Write about it in the comments. And I have to go to the hospital. Oh my god, mom, I'm in trouble. What's wrong? I have a rare disease, an acute candy deficiency in my body. I need to go to the store and buy a couple pounds right away. Oh my god, Mikey, don't be ridiculous. You really scared me with what you said. Two hours later. Here we are at the hospital. It smells like pills in here. It also smells like old people in here. Why do you two have to whine all the time? It smells fine in here. It smells like alcohol and ammonia in here. I don't like this place. I'm so sick of these kids. <laughs> Mikey, we're too nasty. Where do we go from here? To these medical offices? I don't know. We've. I don't know. We've got a doctor coming to see us. I wish I could get out of here sooner. It's so boring. Hello, I'm your doctor. Which one of you is the sick one? Hello, I'm the sickest. Treat me quickly. He's not sick. We're here for a routine health check. You're kidding me, kid. Yeah, I'm a real joker. Ha 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 ha. Mikey's the joker, and I'm Batman. You're coming with me alone to my office. But I want to go with my mom or JJ. Mikey, it's not gonna work. This office is for boys only. Don't worry, it'll be fine. You have nothing to fear in my proctology office. And who are proctologists, JJ? It's too early for him to know that. What are you going to do with him? I'm gonna check out his little hole. That's great. No one's checked Mikey's in there yet. Now come this way. This is the women's room. This is where you'll be getting your medical checkup, Mrs. Speaker Woman. That's great. All right, I'm out of here. Don't miss me. We'll wait in the hallway with JJ. Yeah, I hope we don't fall asleep out of boredom. Okay, go to your office and wait for me to come to you. First up is little Mikey. All right. Bye, everybody. I'll be back soon. Good luck to you, Mom. Okay, don't yell in the hospital. Apparently, this is a library since you can't yell here. We've got a lot of sick people sleeping in here. Wait here while I check out Mikey's young hole. What kind of hole is he talking about? You'll find out soon enough for sure, JJ. Okay, never mind. What are we supposed to do all this time? I'm hungry. Why don't you hold it until we get home? It'll take forever for Mikey to come out of his office, and Mom hasn't even been checked out yet. There are vending machines in there. Oh, what's there to eat? Uh-oh, this place only sells drinks, but I'm hungry. It's not a big deal. I'll buy sodas for myself, and you'll continue to starve. Oh, really? All right. I thought you were gonna help me. Oh my god, not again. My Coke bottle is stuck. I paid two whole dollars for it. Don't get stuck, please. That's it. Now I'm angry. JJ, we're gonna break that machine. Let's break it. Nah! 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 You stupid machine! Give us our sodas back! That's my soda. What are you talking about? Don't you want to share? Of course not. I paid for it. Hello. Looks like that vending machine chewed up the soda again. Let me help you. Uh, who are you? I'm a nurse. I work in this hospital. I'm here to help people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a pretty lady to help us. We've got a bottle stuck. Can you help? Yes. Nah, that's it. Wow, you've really helped us out. Here's your bottle. Don't hit that machine like that again, please. Okay, okay, okay. You are so kind and beautiful, you know. Uh, 
Uh, what? You're actually married, Dad. One doesn't preclude the other, boy. You know, JJ, I thought you were thirsty. Here's a Coke for you. You can drink the whole can. I actually wanted to eat. All right, JJ, stay out of the way. These are grown men talking. Hey, cutie, why don't we get away from here? We're being overheard. What? Are you guys stupid? I can hear you from here. Listen, that's my nephew. I don't have a wife or girlfriend at all. I like you so much. Oh, you're so handsome, too. You're so funny and hilarious, TV man. Oh, that's good to hear, baby. Maybe we can have some privacy, just the two of us. Huh, that's a great idea. Patient, let's go to the pantry for a thorough health inspection. Oh, I like that. Oh, my God. What are they going to do in there? But it doesn't matter. Friends, what do you think? Which tastes better, Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola? Write about it in the comments. Oh, my God, that was really painful. Mikey, what's up? You look tired. You have no idea what they did to me in there. They were sticking sticks in all my holes, JJ. Oh, my God, Mikey. That sounds awful. I don't want to go in there. Don't go there, JJ. I'm burning up after that doctor. Wow, if you got something on fire here, cool off. Fresh and cold Pepsi-Cola. Thanks, but I like Coca-Cola better. There was no other. Drink what you're given. I have to go to the doctor. JJ, be careful. The doctor is very cunning and dangerous. Okay, I hear you. I'm not gonna let some doctor hurt me, Mikey. Where's he hiding out here? Hello, I'm your doctor. The patient before you was so squeaky, it was horrible. What did you do to him, doctor? I did to him what I'm gonna do to you, son. Um, I'm getting a little scared of what you're saying. What is that stick? There's no time to explain. Quickly take off your pants, turn around, and bend over. I give you my word, it won't hurt. Just a little bit. A little bit? Ow! Ow! Ah! No! Horrible doctors. I will not go to them again. You guys didn't even tell me what was going to happen? I almost died of fright. Come on, JJ. At least now we'll all know about our health. It's not funny at all. It's better to know nothing than that. Calm down, son. We're going home now. It's okay. That's great, Mom. Let's hurry up. I'm tired already. Then go to the car, guys. All right, let's get the hell out of here. For being brave, you get to choose what to buy for yourself. Yeah, you guys are great. So while we're on the road, think about what to buy. That's great. It's true. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. You're welcome. Even though it was scary, we'll get a present for it. There are upsides to everything, JJ. Let's get in the car. Let's go get some presents. You know what, though, kids? Let's go home. We'll get presents next time. And we were already so set on it. Almost picked out a gift. Even though we don't have a gift, we're on our favorite playground. Maybe that's even better. I like walking around here. It's true. The grounds are beautiful. What are we going to do here? I don't care what to do. We can swing on the swing. We can just jump and run. Do whatever you want. You know I can't get in there with you. Yeah, I know. But it's so much fun to mock you, JJ. Oh, is that so? Get downstairs and run. I will. Whoa, you hear that, JJ? I hear that, Mikey. What's going on out there? What's that noise? We'd better get inside and see what's wrong. Come on, Mikey. Let's not waste time in case it's robbers. Then let's go quickly. Although, maybe we should wait in case we're in trouble. We've got to run to help. Our parents are in there. It's true. Then let's run to their aid, brother. I wish everything was okay in there. How could you do this to me? What is it, JJ? That's mom's voice. She's not happy. Let's go see if it's the parents fighting. Aren't you even ashamed to say that to my face? What kind of person are you? I'll be better than you, that's for sure. They're fighting really hard, Mikey. I don't want to live with you anymore. Children, come here. We're going to figure this out now. Kids, listen up. Who do you want to live with, me or her? Although, who would want to live with such a hysterical woman? Don't lie to the kids. Shame on you. Mikey, what do they want from us? You've been told everything. Choose who you're going to live with. Don't yell at them. Do you really want to live with someone like that? Don't listen to him. Just make the right choice. What are they even saying? How can we choose? <laughs> I don't want any part of it. What have you done? Mikey, don't cry, please. I don't want to be here. I'll get out of here myself. Is there an election here? Crazy. Mikey, please don't cry. Don't run away from me. We'll get through this together. Don't listen to them. Why are they doing this? I don't want to be here. I want to run away. The next day. Let's forget yesterday. Let's just eat, JJ. I agree with you. Why don't we get some more refills? There's a very large selection here. It's true. I would like to thank you, JJ. You helped me a lot yesterday. I'm your brother, Mikey. Oh, my stomach's acting up. It really hurts. What are you, Mikey? Overeating? I don't know, but it feels like I'm about to burst. Let's go to the hospital. They'll help you there. Where shall we go? Where we were yesterday. Let's run there already. Come on, but be careful. Otherwise, I won't make it. You'll get there, don't worry. Let's not waste any time. Wait, it's acting up again. The food's coming out now. Just hang in there, Mikey. We gotta get to the hospital. There's no point in standing around and holding on. Okay, I agree with you. Just hurry up, or the doctor's gonna have to come here. Oh, don't exaggerate. Come on, you glutton. 
Well, we're finally here. Now, where do we find the doctor? Who knows where he is? Now we have to look for it or wait for it. Someone opened the door. It's a pleasure to spend time with you, madame. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Let's go back to the room. Daddy's hitting on the nurse? It looks like. Come on in quickly. Let's not waste time. Afraid I'll run away from you? I'm afraid we won't have time to enjoy each other. What's going on now? I guess that's why they were fighting so hard yesterday. How could dad do that to mom and to us? It's very ugly. What are we gonna do? Running and telling our mom about what we saw, of course. But what about your stomach? Does it hurt? Yeah. After I saw that, all the pain went away. Then let's go tell mommy that daddy's bad. The important thing is to hurry up. JJ, I've never run that fast in my life. We're already outside the house. Hurry up and open the door and we'll go tell mom. How do we tell her that? Straight up, Mikey, as it is. There she is, mom. We need to tell you something urgently. We've just seen that. Wait, what's your emergency? What's wrong with you? We were in the hospital right now as Mikey had a tummy ache. And there. And there's dad flirting with the nurse. And I knew he was lying to me the whole time. Oh no, mom's upset. But we'll be with you, mom. Isn't that right, guys? We don't want to live with a liar and a scoundrel. You're so good. I love you so much. Mikey and I love you so much, too. Thanks for telling us right away how it was. Thanks to Mikey's belly for that. Let's go sit together on the couch and sit together as a family. I am very blessed to have such beautiful sons. This is a happiness for a mother. So glad our family is now peaceful and everyone loves each other. We can watch our favorite show now. Yes, you've loved this show since you were a kid. I remember too. Christmas is coming. I remember always welcoming this magnificent holiday with my mom. Christmas is supposed to be celebrated with family, and I've been stuck here for a long time without family. It's kind of sad. I'm trapped in this orphanage. It's Christmas already, and I still haven't been adopted. This is the little room I live in. It's pretty cozy, but I'd feel much better with my mom. It's a shame she's gone. I love and miss her so much. Without her, my life seems so lonely, but at least I have my view with me for whom I keep releasing these videos. Hey JJ, I can congratulate you. Your new family is here to adopt you. What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. You're not living here now. But my mom has to take me away from here. She's not taking you. You've been living here too long. No, I don't want a new family. I don't care what you want. You're going to live with them. It's settled. You don't get it, do you? These aren't real parents. They'll treat me badly. Hello, there's that boy. His name is JJ. No, I'm not that boy. He's a funny boy. We're taking him. I wonder if all speaker men are so noisy. I'd like to adopt him. I'm not your toy. We don't care. You'll be our second son, and this is your brother. Hi, my name's Mikey. I hope you two get along. We'll be a strong and happy family. I don't think so. Oh, come on. You're gonna have fun with me. That's what I'm afraid of. Don't be afraid. You'll get used to him. He's gonna be a goody-goody. I don't get it. You're going to discipline me now, aren't you? I'm not going to obey you. We're going to raise him well. You can punish him and hit him a little. Otherwise, he won't listen to anyone. That's what we were going to do. Mikey, you can rejoice. You're gonna have your own assistant. That's cool. You're gonna make my bed and put away my toys. But it's all wrong. I'll be a housewife in their house. I'd rather stay at the orphanage than go to them. Enough talk. Pack this kid up and send him on his way. We'll take him. This boy is going to be my Christmas present. Thanks, Mom. Nothing's too good for you, Mikey. Of course. Everything for our favorite son. Favorite son? Of course they're favorite. Foster children are always loved less than their birth children. But that's not fair. I want to be with my birth mom, not my foster mom. And I don't like TV men at all. Oh, you don't like TV men? Why is that? In our family, you will love us dearly. I will never love you. I only have one mother. I'll never have another. Behave yourself, JJ. You can't go back. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I hate you, too. God, you got some words, JJ. We don't allow that kind of language in our house. Yes, swearing is forbidden. Otherwise, we'll punish you. Okay, I hope I can get away from you. It was too hard to do that at the orphanage. What did you say, JJ? Uh, I didn't say anything. You imagined it. Hehehe, <laughs> I heard that. You're a funny guy. You and I are gonna be friends. Three hours later. There's our house. You're going to live here now. That's pretty good. Hope you enjoy your stay with us, JJ. Where's he gonna get away from us? Huh? I don't like what you're saying. You'll have a much better life here than in your orphanage. You're our son now, too. We will love and care for you just like we did in the last family. No one will take care of me like my real mom. Oh, stop whining already. It's gonna be okay. Let's go inside already. It's getting cold in here. Okay, I'm really freezing out here. Huh. 
You're such a softie, JJ. I'm a softie? Try living without your parents for a couple years. Oh, we understand it hasn't been easy for you all this time. Now you have us. You can start loving us. Yeah, you can do that right now. Yep, just dropped everything and started loving you from that second. And here you have a cozy and spacious place. Not like my little room at the orphanage. Yeah, you should forget about the orphanage. And also forget about your mom. What did you just say? If you misbehave, you'll live in the basement. Oh, that's kind of cruel of you. But you're behaving acceptably so far. And this is where the restroom is. If you want to poop really badly, you can go here. Oh, really? It's like I don't know what a toilet's for. It was just a joke, JJ. And this is where we have the TV where we watch cartoons. You're not allowed to do that yet. If you behave, you can watch it for 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes a day? Really? Okay. And there's our fireplace. You can warm your hands sometimes if you get cold. I got it. Cool fireplace, I'll say. And this is where we have the dining room table. We all eat with our family. Now you're going to eat with us. Oh, I'm just hungry. Hopefully dinner is about to be upon us. And these are our candles. We put them on when we pray to the Lord God. We're a pretty religious family. Oh, that's not good. And this is the Christmas tree. There's going to be a whole bunch of presents for you and Mikey. Hopefully I'll have more gifts to give. No, I'll have more presents. Let's see your behavior. Either we buy presents equally or Mikey gets more. Um, I don't like that kind of thing. I like it a lot, so behave badly next time. No, I'll be on my best behavior. Come on, we'll show you the second floor. Okay, let's go. I wonder what's in there. The whole second floor belongs to Mikey. But don't take offense. There's a corner for you, too. Okay, that makes me happy. Where am I gonna sleep? Sleep? Huh, you'll find out later. Here's Mikey playing on the computer, playing with toys and taking a break from school. So I don't get it. Where am I gonna sleep? Uh, sleep? Oh, we didn't think of that. That slipped our minds. Don't worry. We have a place for you. That's what's scaring me. We have a crib in the closet. You'll sleep there. Uh, are you serious? I'm gonna sleep in the closet? Yeah, you're gonna live here. It's really cool. But this room is even smaller than my old room at the orphanage. Don't swear like that. You'll get used to it. You're a very lucky man, JJ. You'll have your own room all to yourself. Why can't I sleep next to Mikey. I don't want to sleep in the closet. Mikey's space is tight as it is. Stop whining. What do you mean I'm whining? It's not cool to sleep in a hole like this. You're gonna love it here, JJ. Not everything comes at once. Good night to you, Mom, Dad. Good night. Good night. Thank you for sleeping outside. I don't know why you're so upset. It's its own closet with a door. No one will see what you do in here at night. What are you even implying? What am I supposed to do here at night except sleep? Uh, JJ, you're so young and you don't understand anything. Good night to you. Sleep well. Okay, I still don't get you. Good night to you too, Mikey. Go back to sleep. I'm gonna go play some computer games. I'm allowed to play at night. Oh, really? Okay. Friends, do you have a big, big room? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to put my stuff in here. I don't have much, though. All I have with me is a picture of my favorite mom that I've been waiting for for years. I hope you show up someday and take me in. I'm surrounded by people who only want to hurt me. You're the only one I trust in this world, mom. Now I'd better go to sleep. Good night to you. The next day. What a realistic dream I had. It was like my mom came back for me and took me back. Too bad it was just a dream. I wonder if anyone's awake yet. Mikey's awake and playing on his computer. I'd like to play too. Hey Mikey, what are you playing at? Can I join you? I'm playing an intellectually stimulating game. Not everyone can play that. Wow, cool. I've never played one of these before. Can I try to play too? No, you're adopted. You can't play this game. I'm the only one playing it. Oh, well, okay. It's weird, but I can understand that. I'm gonna go downstairs and see what the foster parents are doing. Maybe they have something interesting going on over there. Wow, they are decorating the Christmas tree. How beautiful. Hi, you guys are doing great. Hey, JJ, thank you. You are very kind. We're getting ready for our favorite holiday. Therefore, we take a responsible approach to this business. Wow, how many gifts you've made. Are these presents for me and Mikey? Well, what do you think? I think Mikey and I have gifts here. You're absolutely right. There are presents for both of you. There's a lot of them. Cool. Thank you so much. JJ, we have an assignment for you. Here's some money for you. Please go to the store, JJ. We need to get some groceries for dinner. Take whatever you want to eat. Okay, I'll pick out everything for a lovely dinner. I'll be right there. Don't lose me. Goodbye. Bye. I love the holidays so much. I love getting presents. Do you guys like getting them? Okay, I gotta run to the grocery store because I'm starving and I wouldn't mind a good meal. Let's go get some food. The fastest. Moments later. Oh, I love winter. It gets so beautiful here. Do you guys like winter? Write your favorite season in the comments. And I have to go home now. How beautiful our house looks under the falling snow. I gotta run home. They're probably waiting for me by now. 
and I wouldn't mind eating something. Look how beautiful the Christmas tree looks along with the presents. Oh, JJ is finally back. Hi, did you buy everything? Did it all work out? Yes, I bought everything. I think I made a great choice. Thank you. Yay! You have helped us a lot. Cool! Now you can go up to your room and lie on your bed in peace. Okay. I'm gonna go do some thinking of my own. There's nothing to do anyway. All right, JJ, go ahead. It's so weird how they treat me, to be honest. I don't even know if it's good or bad. Wow, Mikey has so many toys. I'd love to play with him too. Hey, Mikey, can I play with you? How do you think? I think I can. I don't think so. How many times have I told you you're adopted? You're not allowed to play on the computer or play with me. But why? I won't ruin anything for you. I'll say it again, because you're adopted. That's a very strange thing to say. Hey kids, dinner's on the table. Come on, let's go. Because we've been hungry for a while now and it smells so good downstairs. Let's go, I'm hungry too. We're just about to have another little surprise for you that we prepared with daddy. Finally, I've been waiting for this day for so long. Okay, are we forgetting anything? It's like we're forgetting to say something. Uh, I don't think so. All right, let's go downstairs already. When I remember, I'll be sure to tell you. Good. I don't mind going downstairs myself. We're taking a long time to eat. Look at the beauty we've prepared. Tonight at the holiday table, we'll be eating piggy. How weird it looks, but it does smell really good. Let's all sit down at the table. We're having a full family dinner tonight. Tonight after we eat, I'm going to give you little gifts. Daddy and I have been doing all this all day today. That's just great. Let's hurry up and eat so we don't waste any time. But mom, let's get the presents first, and then we can eat in peace. All right, Mikey, you can go look. Your presents are under the Christmas tree. Look at all the things we've made. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to have so many gifts. Yes, thank you so much. I've never had so many gifts before. It's unbelievable. You're welcome, Mikey. But JJ, these presents are for Mikey, not you. Then where are my presents? I want one too. Don't worry, we've got a present for you too. Here it is. Cool! Here you go, JJ. A what? You're welcome to use it. But it's just a regular banana. You gave Mikey this much and I get one banana? Yeah, that's what happened. Are you Mikey glad you got so many presents? Of course I am! Why don't you go to your closet? We'll have a threesome without you. You're awful. You can't do that to children. I am very upset and offended by you. You're very bad. Oh my God, they're messing with me. It's times like this that I realize I have no one but you, Mom. Why did you leave me? Don't you need me at all? Have I been a bad son to you? I'd do anything to see you again. I don't know if you need me now, but I need you more than ever. Oh, what is that? Someone's ringing the doorbell? Did she hear my pleas? I have to open the door. I don't want to stay in this house anymore. I'm a total stranger here. No one loves me. Okay, who's there? Mom? Is it really you? Hey, JJ, I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I rushed to you as fast as I could. The teacher told me the address of the people who took you in. That's how I found you. And this is your Christmas present. Oh my God, Mom, you're the best. You're my most treasured Christmas present. Thank you for coming to me. Take this. Merry Christmas, JJ. Thank you so much. This is the best holiday of my life. I'm not going anywhere from you now, JJ. Come with me. It's my pleasure, Mom. I'll go to the ends of the earth with you. I'm so glad you're back with me. Let's go celebrate this wonderful holiday together. Wouldn't that family be against it? We don't care about them at all. They're strangers to us, and you're a stranger to them too. You're always right, Mom. I have no one in this life but you. I love you, Mom. I love you too, JJ. Let's go home. It's getting cold outside. The next day. Today, Mikey and I are starting our day not with coffee, but with toys. Hey, hey! I talked JJ into spending time together with our toys today. That's true. Though I'd certainly prefer to go play on the computer more. Let's pick what you want then, JJ! That's great! Then let's you pick what we're gonna play. And we're already getting it all in here. So we can start playing. Awesome! Kids, I'm home! Did you hear that? Looks like Daddy came home. Yeah, I heard that too. Let's go meet him soon. Let's go, Mikey. There's a reason he's calling us. Maybe something's happened. I think so too, JJ. We should find out. Maybe he bought us some kind of gift, or maybe he just wants to meet us. Hi, Daddy, did you call us? Hey, kids, I had an interesting story. I found a treasure. Cool. I don't really know where to hide it, so I'll take the treasure to the basement. But don't tell anyone in case somebody comes and takes it. Wow. Did you hear that, Mikey? That's great. Now you can buy us a PlayStation 5? What's a PlayStation 5? What are you talking about? Of course not. No toys or consoles. I'm saving this treasure for hard times. Please, Daddy. We really want to. No, don't even ask. 
I'll go get them so you all won't be tempted. You could have just bought us a present. Come on, guys. No offense, please. We're not offended. Just sad that he won't buy it. That's it. I've hidden the treasure. Now it's in a safe place. Fine. Let's keep them there for a while. Why keep it for nothing? You can just spend it. I think so, too. Go on up to your room, kids. All right. Uh-huh. Come on, JJ. Why is Dad so greedy? He wouldn't lose much if he just bought us a PlayStation 5. I'm very angry with our father. It's not nice. I agree. Where did you go? Wait for me, Mikey. It just makes me want to scream and run around in anger. We don't ask that much. Why is he so greedy to us? I don't understand it either. Let's go get money and buy our own PlayStation. We know where it's hidden. But we can't do that, JJ. It'll be fine. They won't find out for a while yet. No, JJ, I won't do that. It's not nice to steal from our family. Let's go get it. What are you afraid of? We're getting a PlayStation 5. No, you don't have to talk me into it. I won't do it. It's not right. Oh my god, Mikey, you're such a coward. You can think of me that way. Go on, it's bedtime. Yeah, I didn't expect that from you. Well, let's get some rest then. All right. No offense to me for that. Good night to you. Same to you, Mikey. But that's okay. I'll just do it myself tonight and no one will know about it quietly. Okay, I'm awake, it's full night, and everyone should be asleep. Mikey's definitely asleep. Then I can go and collect. Just have to be careful. What would you guys do if you were me? Write your opinion in the comments. And I'll be on my way to the basement to get the money. If Mikey's afraid to do it, then I'll do it alone. As long as no one hears me or catches me. I have to go down carefully and make sure there's no one downstairs. The TV is on, but it's like no one's there. I don't see anyone in the kitchen either. The main thing in this business is to take your time. Haste makes waste. All right, we can go to the basement. And here's the treasure that Daddy found. It's in this chest. We've got to go and get it before someone comes. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'll take it all. All right, it's done. It was no big deal. But did I do the right thing by taking all the money? Of course it's right, because now I can buy anything I want. Only now we have to make sure no one's here again. I don't know if anyone woke up and came in here. No one's here, we can run to the room. That's it, the plan is done. All that's left to do is hide that money and go to bed. I'll hide it in Mikey's chest and buy him a present tomorrow. We just have to do it quietly so Mikey doesn't wake up. Great, he didn't hear anything. Now we can go to bed. I did it perfectly. Mikey will be 100% excited about the gift tomorrow. Now we can fall asleep. The next day. Listen, the kids were pretty upset yesterday. Why don't we just buy them a present? Actually, I overreacted yesterday. Let's do that. Great. The kids will love it. They've been asking for a PlayStation 5. You've got enough money to buy them that, right? It's a very expensive gift, of course. But I think, yes, we can afford it. Then I'll go to the basement and take all the money that's in there. Even though it's expensive, it won't be too bad for our kids. Kids are everything in our lives. All right, I think we're all here, so there was no one in the basement. We can go get them. We have to get everything done while they're asleep. All right, let's get the money. Wait, where's all the money? Where'd it go? Looks like some cheeky kid snuck in and took the money. How dare they do that? Just steal everything? Oh, I'm going to give them a hard time. I'm really angry. I'm going to punish whoever stole the family's money. Children, get up quickly. What? What happened? Which one of you insolents took all the money out of the chest? Oh no, how did they know? Now they're going to check it out. JJ, confess, did you steal the money? Don't you dare lie to me, tell me the truth. No, Dad, I didn't take anything. Stop yelling, please don't scare our children. If it wasn't you, then Mikey took it all. Hey, Mikey, come on, wake up. Did you steal the money? What? What happened? What money? Why does he play stupid? He knows what money is involved. Mikey, please tell me, did you take money from the basement? No, I honestly didn't take anything. I slept through the night. I'm telling you he's cheating. Now we'll check in your trunk. Yep. That's what I needed to prove. The little thief has been found. Mikey, I didn't expect this from you. But I didn't take anything, really. I'm not lying. What's this one in my hand? Why do you keep lying? I'm not lying to you. I didn't take it. Look at the nerve. Well, what if he really didn't take it? Now we'll punish him. He'll know how to steal from his family. Don't punish me. I'm telling the truth. And he keeps proving something to us. Well, I don't know how to prove it to you. I'm not lying to you. I didn't expect my son to be a thief and a cheat, too. Don't call me that. I don't deserve it. Wait a minute. Let's ask JJ. Okay. JJ, did you see Mikey take the money? Don't just protect your brother. Just tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I saw him go into the basement tonight. No, 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 no. That's it. So you've been lying this whole time? Follow me. You're grounded. JJ, why would you say that? Why did you lie? Don't talk to him. Get over here. You've disappointed us. You will now live in the pantry. 
You did a terrible thing. You'll know how to steal money and cheat. Why? JJ tells lies and I don't lie. I don't even want to hear it anymore. Get in the closet. And just try to get out of there. Not until we say so. You've hurt us very badly. We're very angry with you. Please don't leave me here alone. JJ, tell them the truth. I'm not a thief or a liar. We did everything right. I agree with you. JJ, thanks for telling us the truth. You did the right thing. You didn't protect him or lie to him. You did good. We really appreciate it. We are proud of you. Thank you for those words. I think I'm gonna go lie down some more. Yeah, sure, go rest. When you wake up, come downstairs, we'll cook with mom. Yes, son, we'll make your favorite dish. Okay, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Now Mikey will sit there alone for a long time to come. He'll probably be sad, but at least I'll have the whole room to myself. And it's very cool. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. I feel a little bad for Mikey, but at least my parents didn't punish me. That's more important, isn't it? Now I can watch TV and what I want to watch or just sit on the computer. Do you think I did the right thing by turning Mikey in? I think everything's great. <laughs> Why did JJ do this to me? It's not like I did anything wrong. He also lied to our parents. And now I'm sitting here in the closet. Four to six days later. It's been a bunch of time since I've lived alone without Mikey in my room. I'm having a lot of fun living like this. No one gets in the way and you do whatever you want. For example, now I play on the computer and no one asks me to play too. While I certainly feel a little bad that Mikey has been sitting in the closet for so long, I certainly won't be telling my parents to let him go. I'd rather sit back and play on the computer. Hey JJ, come here, we got something to show you. There's something very interesting here. No thanks, I don't want to. It's much more fun to play on the computer. JJ, distract yourself for not too long. We'll just show you one video and that's it. It literally goes on for 10 seconds. I don't want to watch anything. Please don't disturb me. I have an important assignment. Well, quickly, JJ got the tablet in his hands and watched the video. Don't talk to us like that. We approach you nicely and ask you to do an easy task. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Let me watch your video. Come here. Now we're going to give you the tablet. There's a short but very informative video. You have to watch it. Okay, I got it. Give me the tablet already. I'll see what you're asking. Here you go. I don't understand why this is such a big deal. I mean, this could have been watched at any other time. Now you're gonna turn it on. Watch it and you'll understand. All right, I'm turning it on. As long as no one hears me or catches me, I have to go down carefully and make sure there's no one downstairs. The main thing in this business is to take your time. All right, we can go to the basement. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'll take it all. Of course it's right, because now I can buy anything I want. Only now we have to make sure no one's here again. I don't know if anyone woke up and came in here. No one's here. We can run to the room. Oh no, I didn't know there was a camera. You stole the money. So it turns out who's a liar and a thief. How dare you do such a thing? I just wanted to give Mikey a present and I hid the money in his trunk. And when you guys showed up, I got scared. That doesn't excuse you. You did a terrible thing, and because of you, your brother was in the closet for days. I understand. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Now Mikey's gonna be happy and you're gonna go sit in the pantry. Oh no, I so don't want that. Let's go free Mikey, and you'll go straight to his place. And you'll be there a lot longer than Mikey. Please don't. I get it. Mikey, son, come here. Am I finally allowed to go out? We've been through the cameras and we know everything. We believe you now. JJ set you up. You finally believe me. I told you I didn't take anything. You're gonna punish him now, aren't you? Of course. He'll sit there more than you. Yay. I'm really excited about this. Come on in. It's your place now. Please forgive me. I get it. I'll never do it again. Mikey did time for nothing and you'll do time for stealing. I'm scared to sit here. Don't. You'll know how to steal and cheat. And you set me up, even though I was right. I've got it all figured out. I won't do it again. But no one listened to me or let me out. That's why you're gonna sit here, liar. Stop standing here and jumping. Get out of here. Don't mock me. Now I'm the only one left here. I guess I deserved it, unfortunately. Well, wait, what do I have in here? Ha ha ha, it's a tablet. They forgot all about it. Now I'm gonna spend my time here with my tablet. How lucky I am to have this. Hey, liar, give me my tablet back here right now. No, please, let me keep it. You better not make me angry. You deserve to sit here and do nothing. Give it to me now. Okay, don't yell. Hold your tablet. I can live here without it. That's great. You're gonna sit here for a week. More than that, you little thief. We're very angry with you. You set your brother up, you liar. Yeah, I shouldn't have done all that. I didn't even have time to buy anything. Give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you think I'm sitting here deservedly. Don't forget to leave a comment. We read them all. Bye.